Hey everybody, welcome back to another Danger 5 run. Today we're going to be doing the uh, Technomage. Technomage uh, is a newer character with the DLC, so I wanted to give it a shot. Uh, I just got done doing crazy, it was a super fun run. Uh, Technomage, you get, you get two turrets, turrets uh, to start out. You get a plus 5% structure attack speed for every one permanent uh, elemental you have, plus two elemental damage for every one structure you have. So you want a lot of structures and you want a lot of elemental. You want to just like bounce back and forth between those two things. Uh, plus 75% XP required to level up, which hopefully we can get some scars and stuff to take care of that situation uh, and get our XP back up again. Melee damage modifications are reduced and range damage modifications are reduced. So we're not going to take any melee or range throughout this whole thing. Um, no new weapons here that I see are really beneficial. So I'm just going to go with the old trusty wrench. That's going to give us the turrets we need to get, you know, shots and all that stuff and get all our structures and elemental done that way. I don't know what exactly the techno mage is from or if it's like from a game or something but i've never even heard of a techno mage let's go ahead and take a wrench we'll lock in a beanie obviously take another wrench we'll lock in a coffee too we'll lock in another wrench you could take screwdrivers here if you wanted to those kinds of structures if you want to go like the mine route and do explosions and explosion damage that's definitely a possibility here uh if you want to go that way but I'm just going to go all turrets. I don't think I've ever, like... There's one other character. I forget which one it is, but... Maybe Streamer that you take a lot of turrets on. Let's go ahead and up our speed. Keep looking for wrenches here. Lock that in. Keep going. Not getting a lot of this way of harvesting, so we're going to need to up our harvesting, too. See all these grouped up like this not ideal especially on the earlier waves I don't play too many engineering builds so this should be inter interesting well I mean it's still like melee though you play it like melee with the with the wrenches so we will take engineering there that sounds like a good idea and let's see here HP regen probably wouldn't be bad either. Take some HP regen for now, just so we have a way to heal. Scared sauce is gonna be really good for us because that's gonna help us burn things. And now we got our six wrenches, which is gonna give us plus five to engineering. So really good buff there. And what stone we'll take for life steal? We'll get some life steal going too. You still need your health buffs, you know, so you don't want to be like hit and then have no way to regen health. A little bit of health regen and life still goes a long way, especially on the mid waves. Uh, could hurt hit that curse guy, I guess. Yeah, well, the turrets did it for me, so no big deal there. Definitely need more speed so I can run around more and grab more materials faster since they're so spread out. Or pickup range. Pickup range would be really good too. Um, let's go ahead and take some attack speed for the wrenches. So we'll go, go ahead and do all that stuff. Lock in a tree, lock in another wrench, and re-roll one more time. We don't need screwdrivers, dude. I don't know if you have to take curse to start initiating curse like if that's the way it works in the shop can't remember if i saw a cursed item before i actually took curse all right let's take another plus three to engineering here more trees is good too. Hopefully we'll get pocket factory pretty early. Uh, we're not going to take melee damage because we don't need it. Keep re-rolling here. Great. Another one of those. Crown for harvesting is definitely needed. 
That'll be great for us. Hopefully we'll get a lot of like these incinerary turrets like right here because we're going to buffer elemental. Those incinerary turrets are really nice. I think I just gotta remember to take elemental. I don't I don't ever take elemental really on anything. Unless I have to. Alright, triangle of power is we don't want that because we don't want to take damage till the end of the wave. Not a good idea. I'm gonna take more speed here. Free reroll, a crown, uh, alien worm for a little bit more HP regen. Eye surgery we want because it's gonna activate the elemental faster. So we definitely want that. We definitely want boiling water too for that elemental damage. And so I gotta keep an eye out for that. I'll lock in all that stuff. That all looks good. I'm really gonna try to boost my elemental as much as possible. Still haven't done a, I don't think I've done a no curse run yet. I think I need to do one of those next. Try to just go through real quick, maybe on danger zero and just get zero curse for the whole entire thing. There's, I think it unlocks uh, a couple characters or something. That shouldn't be too hard if you're in like danger zero. But I don't know, I haven't tried it yet, so maybe it's rough. All right, toolbox is good for us for engineering, so we'll take that and we'll go ahead and skip those. Pick some HP regen or we'll take HP regen for now. I'm gonna combine these and take another wrench so we have more incinerary turrets. Get the elemental, and we'll take the coupon. And landmine's gonna be good for us too because that's gonna give us more structures. More structures means more damage. Snowball, plus one elemental damage every time you get an item that increases elemental damage. That sounds right up our alley. It is perfect item for this character. So we will definitely take that metal detector for sure and treasure map for sure. I tried this on the last run. I got it. Finally, it, you unlock this through diver or sailor and it was kind of nice. You get extra items on crates and if the more of those treasure maps you have, the more it increases the probability of that happening. So it was kind of nice to just like reroll on crates. You keep getting more and more stuff. Got a lot more items that way need to unlock that you can go check out my sailor runs uh sailor i remember was pretty easy i think you just take trident for that and yeah you just buff you just buff the hell out of your trident i think you're good i love the anchor i just the anchor was just too damn slow man it's too damn slow trident has way more range on it so you got a lot more room to breathe If I could use something with pickup range right now. All right, more landmines sounds good to me. And we definitely need harvesting. We don't even need harvesting. That treasure map and snowball for sure. Metal detector, pick up the eye surgery next time. Um, not plus 15 damage, plus 15 max HP. Wouldn't be terrible on this character if you just stuck to, like if you, if you had enough of these wrenches to make these all incinerary i guess you could go that route but i just i'm just gonna go full on turrets for as much damage as i can get since i don't usually play uh engineering builds let's go ahead and lock in a mushroom though for more hp regen this guy's not dying very fast This is why I don't usually play elemental turret runs because I feel like the damage just drops off after like wave eight.
Not that they can't still be good. I just don't. I like to kill stuff, not dance around. Little frog is for harvesting pickup range. We definitely need both those things. Helmet is for armor. We'll go ahead and take that. And pencil will skip, but I'll take plus three more armor. Get our armor way up here. Uh, definitely get our dodge up with the that and eye surgery. We'll take the mushrooms. All good there. Uh, attack speed we don't really need, but definitely need speed. Uh, we'll upgrade that. I'll go ahead and find that. Ooh, that was my bad. I thought I could be able to take that, but I guess not. I guess we're going in this wave of five weapons. That's fine. We'll get that up next next wave. If I'm alive. Really need pocket factory. I don't know where that. If we got that early, it'd be nice. So I always feel like this builds, the, like the turret builds always need that. And sometimes you're just, you don't get it till like the end. <laughs> I'm gonna dial it back here in a second and get some health back. All right, HP regen would be good, life steal. Let's go with speed would actually be really good too. I think I'm gonna go speed here. Get around a little bit quicker. Let's go ahead and take that last wrench now that we need it. Um, Coral, this is tempting to take if we wanna stand still, but I'm not going to, I need the money. Let's go ahead and keep searching for something else here. I don't know how the fireball works. I haven't taken that yet. Uh, community support would be good. And so is this alien tongue and gentle alien. I think we'll go ahead and take the gent those two at least for now. Melee is not really going to do us any, any good for that. So we're going to skip that. But I will take this blindfold for crit damage and dodge. Warrior helmet is going to take for armor and max HP. And we'll lock it another wrench. Characters like this do stand still more, so like if you want to, you know, just stay here and just like be surrounded by your turrets, you could do that. It's definitely an option, but I like to run around and grab materials more. I don't have lumberjack shirt either, so these trees aren't dying in one hit. They're taking too many hits. Oh, that shark. Those sharks are brutal, man. I gotta really watch out for those guys. I see a loot alien. Yeah, I did. Didn't get him in time, though. As usual. Let's go ahead and take more speed here. Yeah, let's go ahead and find that. Take that. Take the warrior helmets. Man, compared to last run, I had so much money last run. It was so nice. Let's take our damage, get our damage up to at least positive here. So that's doing some work and take another wrench. Take another wrench there. So that's got us more incinerary. Uh, pile of books, your structures can crit. We definitely want that. And it's plus eight to engineering. So that's AS curse. So that's amazing. So we'll definitely be taking that. That should help boost our damage and our run up a little bit so we're not just running around like crazy people.
trying to stay a little bit more aware of dodging around here so i'm not taking definitely some hits need a healing turret i need something that will get my health back oh that walked right into that um well we'll keep going here see if we can make it oh just gotta watch these projectiles man all right honey trophy mm, we're not doing a lot of crit it's only 31 so we'll just take it I guess it'll take some crit chance to get us some crit there since these structures will now crit. I guess it was good that I took that. Um, definitely need this tractor. Take that tractor now, the pile of books now, the wrench, keep that community support locked in for now. Maybe that'll go cursed if we take the fish hook. Uh, Tyler is another structure, so we might take that. So those we'll just kind of lock all that stuff in for now. Go to wave 12, see what happens. We got a lead on wave 15. So now that our structure's crit, and then we have hunting trophy, that might be nice, actually. That might help us get some more money. Just gotta get that damn pocket factory, man. Definitely don't like how much damage I'm taking per hit, so that's not good. Since my health is only 27 right now. Just gonna kind of hang by the turrets they're helping me stay alive but then i say that and then i go get greedy and go try to get a tree definitely got some more material there and we're up to 600 now uh gentle alien i'm gonna recycle that we already took one, so we're definitely going to take more landmines. We're definitely going to take fuel tank for more elemental. And we don't, we don't need claw tree, but I will take more damage here. Uh, let's see here. Take the community support, definitely. Find that, take the wrench. More structures. Uh, metal is going to give us HP, damage, armor, and speed. Yeah, why not? Head injury is going to give us more damage, leather vest, more armor, and dodge. All that stuff's good. Uh, padding will lock in. Maybe we'll get a lot of money here. Then we can get some more HP from that padding. That might help us survivability so I don't die instantly like I almost just did. really gotta hang by my turrets I'm so used to running around Ooh, they get there by the walrus don't think this is going to be a character you can take down the boss you might be able to do it somehow but i don't feel like this is going to be enough damage to be a survival run more or less maybe if we got lucky and got pocket factory earlier we would have had a chance but i feel like this next wave is going to be rough we're just going to be surviving it's going to take some dodge for survivability Take that padding now to get us the HP up, damage that, all that stuff. We'll take everything there. Um, wrench, we'll definitely gonna upgrade again. I'm gonna lock in a bunch of luck. Maybe that'll help us. Ball and chain. Uh, weapons have a minimum cooldown. I think these already have a pretty crappy cooldown, anyways. So this might be worth taking for armor and damage. The sync to speed on that is okay. It's because as long as I'm above 25, I'm good. But I can also get the speed back with this since we're taking a whole bunch of luck. So lock in a terrified onion. Now we got, you know, we should have good speed. So this, I think I'm just going to try and stay alive. 
I mean, well, I guess that's the whole point of the whole game, but I thought we were going against the Elite, but I guess this is just a Horde wave. Hopefully the uh, turrets and the Elemental will do enough damage that we don't have to worry too much about staying alive. Just gotta watch these projectiles. As I say that, I almost run into like two of them right there. Ooh, I just ran through that mass, guys. Ugh. Trying to get all the mats. Hopefully Tyler can do some damage. Ooh, taking big hits. All right, we're good. Got 900 there though, that was good. Terrified Onion will take for speed. Uh, structure attack speed plus 10. Clockwork Wasp is really good for us, so we're definitely gonna take that. And let's go ahead and take, I really need, Dodge would be really good and Elemental would be really good. Both these would be really good. I'm gonna go ahead and go take Elemental right now. Damn, that ball and chain went cursed. So we get plus 24 damage, six armor and nine knockback from that. Uh, that knockback might be really nice for this character. The Lost Duck also went cursed. So we'll go ahead and take the ball and chain and the Lost Duck and the Shady Potion and all that stuff. Take another Scared Sausage. I think we have three Scared Sausages now. Now we have two. We have two. Look how much damage the Scared Sausage has dealt. 17,000. Uh, real nice damage from Scared Sausage on this run so far. Uh, Whetstone we could take for a little bit more lifesteal. Metal Detector is going to give us a little bit more... Um, Recycle money, Blood Leech for more HP, regen, and we'll just keep going here. Hopefully, we'll just keep banking on the money and all our turrets. We'll eventually just take care of everything. We don't have to worry about anything. Get another, hopefully get another reroll from that, uh, the chest that we get to. Can't believe we are on wave 16. We don't have a pocket factory yet. It's terrible. Just my luck. Always, it's always with the engineer runs. Whenever I try to do an engineer run, I get never get the pocket factory. It's inevitable. Or I'll get on like the last wave or some crap. We take this guy down. Uh, we can't even take this guy down. Bosses are going to suck. All right. Uh, we'll take more engineering, more lifesteal and HP, more dodge. Uh, pick up range. Sure. Get our first upgrade to a legendary there. We're not going to save any money, so I'm skipping that. Salt water is melee damage, attack speed, plus 18 speed for three seconds when you take damage. That's a lot of speed. Uh, melee doesn't do anything for us, and we get negative one elemental. So I don't think I want that that negative elemental. And the melee is going to do nothing for us. I already have enough attack speed for turrets, and uh, that plus eighteen speed. I already had thirty, so we're good on that. Uh, loss of elemental there, but we will take the cake for HP regen. Let's keep looking for. Take the Vigilante Ring for damage and another wrench. Another Clockwork Wasp would be good. I, don't, I, I believe this counts as a structure, so that might be worth taking. All this stuff might be worth taking, so we'll go ahead and go to wave 17 here. I think all that stuff's good. I'm pretty sure the garden counts as a structure, right? kind of sit here in the middle, I guess. Just saving all my consumables because I don't really need them for anything right now, so... Say that, and then I go and grab them all. All good. 
All right, Fairy is going to give plus two HP regeneration for every tier one item I have. We have 38. Minus two HP regeneration for every tier four item we have. You have zero. That seems like really good. So that's 38 HP regen. It's kind of insane. We'll go ahead and take it. <laughs> that's awesome. We're going to take another scared sausage to you. I think that's our cap on scared sausages there. Uh, HP regen is really nice at 50 right now. Let's take max HP to even help that. Okay, so gar the garden gets cursed. Uh, plus more four curse on that. It spawns a garden that creates a fruit every four seconds. I don't know what the normal, probably like seven, right? I, I might not take that just because I don't want four curse for that. I don't feel like that's a good trade off. Take that snake. And lock in another wrench at level four. Because it's just tier four items that are affecting the HP regen, so for the fairy. Not weapons. Let's go ahead and take some more dodge, get our dodge up even higher. Lock in another wrench. Guess we got more money. Mutation is elemental damage, range damage. We'll go ahead and take that for the elemental. That also boosts every time we take that we boost our HP regen, so that's that's pretty insane. I didn't realize fairy was that good, I guess. I don't know how I'm gonna kill this guy. Do the circle thing. I don't think this guy's gonna die though. I'd be really surprised. Yeah, it's way too slow. Oh, I'll see get any more damage on him, man. He's not there, he just mutated. It took forever. I guess take him over by the landlines. Come on, dude. Fucking die. You gonna die? Ooh, maybe we, we can get him if he stays over here. Ooh, no. Oh no. Oh no. That's bad. Real bad. Luckily, that dodge kicked in. Ooh. We get him? Really want to take him down. Four seconds. Oh, we got him just at the end there. Ooh, that was close. Almost died. Got a little greedy there. Ash is plus 20 damage. Uh, minus one armor at the end of wage. I don't care about that. We got two waves left, so we're definitely going to take this for attack speed and damage. Uh, that's tier four item, so we lose a little bit of HP regen there, though, but that's fine. Weapons can no longer be recycled. Um, not. I might take that in the next wave. If we take this and then take that and lock it in, that might be the way to go. So... Let's go ahead and just go to the next wave, and then, then hopefully we can take this one, and then lock, take this one, and that'll give us a lot more damage. I'm gonna skip the metal detector and all that for now. Let's go to wave 19. Hopefully we get some decent cash here with the uh, trophy and all that good stuff. Still no pocket factory, by the way. Figures. Hopefully you all have more luck on your runs of this and get pocket factory does that make it that would make a huge difference if you got a whole bunch of trees and you're getting more structures and you're getting all your elemental damage that would make the run probably way easier i don't know if we're gonna be able to kill these end bosses though i don't i don't really feel like we're going to be able to kill these end bosses they just have too much health and i got a lot of curse so Speed is nice though. Be able to just cruise through all these guys. Alright, almost a thousand there. Gonna take glasses. That helps our H HP regen. Uh, bag we don't need right now, so I'm gonna recycle that. Let's go ahead and I'm gonna look for something on health here. Let's do either dodge or max HP. Let's do max HP. We're kind of low on HP actually. This will help to get our max HP up, though. So I'm going to go ahead and take this first. And then now we can take the knot. So we can't get any more weapons now. So that's fine. We're on wave 20, so. But I'll get that extra damage and that extra HP. And we definitely want another incinerary turret. That'll help us. Let's see what else we get here. I don't know if Cyberball. Cyberball is an item, but I don't know if that counts as a structure. I don't think that counts as a structure. Uh, Schmoot would have been nice, but we'll take the Cyberball and just 
go to wave 20. Do we get done here? Just gonna kind of avoid these guys, honestly. Stay away from them as much as possible. Maybe hit them a couple times. But for the most part, I want to just stay away from them. Yeah, these guys are just, I mean, it's like nothing. I hate that spiral attack so much, dude. But I've gotten better at it. Kind of actually go in a spiral. Helps. Grabbing materials. I don't know why. I'm just like, oh, let's grab some materials. Yeah, this one's more about survivability, I think. Would have liked to have been able to kill the bosses, though. Maybe I just took too much curse. Maybe I can get one of them. Maybe I can get both if I just keep keep at it here. I'm trying to. Come on, dude, die. I got one of them, I think, right? Oh, I get oh, oh, I don't know if I got him. Did I get him right at the end? No, I didn't. Close though. It's close though. I should have just actually, I should have hit him way more with my uh, wrenches. I was just putzing around too much there. I think you can take both bosses out if you do that. Because he was like literally one shot. So, okay, we got the particle accelerator from that. It's a heavy elemental. Uh, damage is pretty insane at 235. Wow. Uh, scales with elemental and um, engineering. So, really good weapon for probably this character. If you want to go ahead and unlock that character or this item first and then do the danger five, it'll probably make more sense to do that. Hopefully, it'll get this weapon along the way. Uh, crit chance is 25%. That's really nice. Cooldown, knockback, range, piercing. Uh, piercing is 99. <laughs> what? Uh, life steal is 14%. That's really nice too. Really nice item. Slows enemy by 1% on hit for every one engineering you have. Up to 30%. Wow. That is a really nice item. It's a, you get the damage buff, which is 25% damage and elemental buff too. So that is a really good unlock. So if you're going to look for something, go ahead and get that one first on danger zero and then rerun this on five. That, that would be my advice if you can get it. Um, hopefully you get it along the way. But that's it for this run, uh, Techno Mage. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, you can see the stats over to the left here. And I will see you in the next run. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.